Okay, my friends. Uh, I'm way late on this. And it isn't going to amount to much. I have uh, uh, been sick. Uh, nothing to do with my dialysis or anything. I've just. Uh, <laughs> I think I've contracted the revenge of the melee and banner snatcher, bloody flux, traveling epithes, whatever it is. <laughs> I got uh, chest congestion, had it for a week now, runny, everything. And uh, needless to say, I haven't really felt up to or like I wanted to do this, so I haven't. But, I figure uh, I need to. There are, there are those of you out there that watch me from time to time, so at least I ought to start making excuses. I've been feeling bad. I feel pretty bad right now. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I'll try to give you a little update. We're uh, this coming fr Saturday, actually Friday, was when we planned on uh, heading out for Seagull North, but... Uh, I'm going to get off dialysis, come home, go to bed, and then we'll get up Saturday morning and we'll leave for Siegel North. My youngest son, Carl, Kyle, is in the uh, neighborhood. I'm going to pick him up Thursday at his brother's. And uh, he'll assist in driving one or both of the cars uh, on the way up there. We'll keep him up there a week and then fly him back. That's going to be nice. Uh, just feeling bad. Don't have any political tirades to go on. I've got a couple of uh, stories. Actually, I've got probably a three or four. But as you can probably imagine, I'm not uh, just not in the mood. Uh, perhaps if uh, later in the week, if I get to feeling better, before we leave out for New York, I'll uh, get on here and do a little more uh, prognosticating. Uh, looking forward to seeing Jim Kersey up there. He's coming up. Uh, should be a, should be a good time. We're going to spend four months up there this summer. But I'm looking forward to it because it's getting hot here. I think. What I'm experiencing here, uh, this harvesting time here in Texas, and all around our house, we have large expanses of wheat and corn and other foodstuffs that are in the harvesting stage. And about a week to ten days ago, they started uh, thrashing the wheat with the combines, and uh, it just I was coming home uh, from Dallas, I don't know, one day late, early, late, late or early last week, and they had stirred up such a dust storm that uh, you couldn't see the road. <laughs> you know, it was like one of California brush fires. I mean, you just drove up into this big sock of brown stuff, and that was it. You had to stop. And I got a feeling that uh, there's probably some elements of that that I'm allergic to because, boy, I've been in misery ever since, and I've taken them. Uh, Taking a lot of stuff. Here, my chair is doing its thing. The one thing I took that uh, I don't want to recommend to anybody, if you've ever heard of Mucinex, well, I've got a chest ejection and I think that falls under mucus. And I took a couple of days for a regime of Mucinex. Nothing. Stuff that ain't worth a powder to blow it to, you know, kingdom come. I do have some uh, small. Uh, and a histamine, aller, anti allergen combination of little bitsy things. And they work better than the Mucinex. They really do. I take one of those and in a few hours I feel less screwed up. But uh, for now, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I'm just going to uh, keep it short. All you people out there. Hmm. No, I've got some good stuff.
I got some good stuff. Loan sharking here in Texas. State of Texas allows loan sharking. I've got a whole thing on that. Boy, they're, they're getting people to take their titles to their cars and their houses down there. And, you know, get instant money. And, of course, you know, they were broke this month. They go down to give title of their car. Somebody, they're broke next month. Hey, guess what? We got your car. Shouldn't be allowed. That's loan sharking. State of Texas allows it. Just some of this stuff. Anyway, uh... I'm going to call it quits. I feel bad, but I did uh, I did want to say hi. And uh, you folks out there, uh, bear with me. I'll be uh, doing a little uh, tidbits while we're on the road. And, of course, once I get up there, which would be it'd be a couple of weeks now, I'll... Uh, I'll be back in uh, tune, but I'll try to I'll try to do a little shorts. So, uh, thank you, Brian, for all you've done for me. If you watch this, all you people out there in the world need to know that uh, I'm you know I'm past my prime. There are things that if I had to do them, they flat out wouldn't get, wouldn't be, wouldn't get done. And uh, my hobby uh, hobby besides this, is talking on the radio, amateur and CB. And Brian, we call him Cooter, came down about a week or so ago and just took my stuff down. I have a big antenna, large array up there. Took it down, put it all back together, new bracing kits, new, new stuff, as only he can do it. And he did a good job, and I want to thank him because my station is operating at the moment as good as it ever has in all the years I've been on the radio, and I've been on the radio 40 years. So thank you, Brian. Crystal, we'll see you tomorrow probably. My son's Kyle and Carl, and Carl, Kyle is, I guess he's at his mama's right now. So I'll go get him on Thursday, and I'll have him for two whole weeks. Tracy, you have a fun one. Richard Heights and Ritter, if you're out there. Uh, I might come sneaking around and take a peek at you if you're up in Chautauqua. I figure out, you know, I get the program. You can't tell the players without a program, but I bet your name's in there. I'll come slipping around there and say hi to you. Ike, hope skaters don't get you. Uh, what is that? <laughs> Oh, Glenn, my buddy down in Houston, lifelong buddy. Daryl Mackey, Tyler, Jim Kersey. Got about two weeks. We'll see you. Looking forward to that. <coughs> Looking forward to going to racers. Give me a, a baby scoop. See, I'm not supposed to have ice cream. I fudge. That's one of the things that's supposed to be verboten with my dialysis is ice cream. has got the milk products and all that. But, but I fudge a little bit. Not a lot. Anywho, uh, everybody out there that watches my tapes, <laughs> think good thoughts. I, I need some assistance to get rid of this crud. What I say? Traveling episodes. Revenge in a melee and banner snatchers. Bloody flux. I don't have that. <laughs> Anywho, I'll talk to y'all soon again. I promise. But this is uh, this is shorty for me today. Adios, and uh, wishes uh, good luck on the trip.